So I'm getting ready for the Maker Fair. I've got a lot of work on my plate. Um, there's a few things I need to change in order to display these droids up on the stands for three days, for eight hours a day. I'm assuming my lights are gonna, the batteries are gonna go dead. So instead of pulling this thing off the stand, reaching up underneath and trying to get at the batteries, what I wanna do is make a little access panel right here. So I'm shaping that right now. And then I will cut it out of this. Um, basically cut a smaller hole. As long as I can get my arm in and take the lights out, uh, that, should be, uh, that should be good. So I've got to do that, paint it, grime it up to match. And then I have to, I'd really like to get these seams taken care of. And then I have to finish getting this one on. I'm painting up the feet over here. Just had to do a few patches. And yeah, that's that's what we got going today. Then I'm gonna grime up a couple of these other small props I made because uh, I never quite finished them for the uh, for the blue film. So yeah, lots of work, and uh, I'm on it. All right, that's the shape of my access panel. So now I just gotta figure out where I want to cut the hole in here. I'm probably gonna cut a hole about like that. All right, so there's our access hole. That's all we need to get my arm in and be able to get a hold of these lights. All right, I'm gonna show you guys a really ghetto way to uh, form a piece to go around the seam. I could drive an hour and go up to my buddy's shop and use his vacuum former, or I could just stay here where I am and get it done with what I've got. So I like to MacGyver things sometimes, it's kind of fun. Use what you have and get results, you know? So I'm gonna, do it here in my shop with no vacuum former but i do have a heat gun and i can build a form and i can melt the plastic and then form it so what i'm going to do is do four corners so i trace that and do the four corners and i'll do strips in between so i'm going to use the heat gun to heat up some old scrap plastic that i have so here's the first corner piece uh, i formed on my quick little handmade uh, former i just took some scrap wood Put a little shim in between uh, two pieces that I cut, and then I could uh, I slid the slid the plastic into here, heated it up, and bent it down around my form by hand. And uh, yeah, that's one of four bumpers or corner corner bumpers. And then after I get these done, I will uh, I will make some straight pieces. It'll still be able to open and close because I've left the bottom flat but it'll cover up the top and it'll, I think it'll look much better once this seam is covered up. So you'll see something like that versus that. Okay, here's my quick little jig I literally made out of some scrap wood. Um, slide the plastic in here. Get it over top of the corner. I'm gonna heat it up and form it around with my hand. Okay, here's my second test. And it looks uh, a little crude right here. But once I trim it and cut these edges off and cut the bottom off, it should work out. Let's see. Okay, here's my third test piece. And it's, you might think it doesn't look great, but it really just needs to be good between this line and this line over here. And then I'll trim off all the bottom here right around that edge. And you can see where I ran the heat gun into the plastic a few places. I like that, it makes it all scarred up. and looks like the droid is rammed into things and been hit. Let's go trim her down. So you use your spacing trick with your finger and trace around, you know, you measure your space on the droid and then trace it around. Okay, here we go after we trim this third piece. Yeah, that'll look great. It's all nice and rough and uneven. It's got some holes in it and some scratches and scars. Let's see how it fits. There we go. So next I'm going to cut a piece for there. And then this piece, I need to make one more of these. And that will mirror over to this back corner. And then after I get that one done, I'll have to cut a piece to go along here. And then I think, as you will see, this ugly seam here on this droid will start looking much better. Okay, here's my fourth test and my final piece. 
uh, this piece here was like a super piece of scrap. I knew it wasn't long enough, so I stretched it really far and it started to tear apart, which I really like. That'll look cool. I'll put black behind it and then I'll put silver paint pin around it and it looks like it got hit by a blaster or an asteroid or had some collision of, of some sort. This one will work out good. Okay, here's a quick peek at the work in progress. After probably four or five hours in here today. So it looks really rough right now, and because it is. But once I uh, get it all fastened down and tight, painted, it's gonna look good.